Hello fellow YouTubers, this is The Imaginator. Welcome to my review of One Piece Mind Chapter 1025. The title of this One Piece Mind Chapter is called Twin Dragons. The chapter commences of Luffy being frustrated and annoyed and shouting at Momonosuke, uh, of him unable to uh, fly in his newly dragon adult form. And um, then the chapter cuts into the next portion where we have Kaido and Yamato's fight. Um, as Yamato and Kaido are exchanging blows with their spike clubs. Uh, there's some very intriguing dialogue of Kaido setting forth this notion to Yamato that you know you're not able to uh, make any friends. You know you're not meant to be friends and all. And basically, because you're fighting like a soldier, that he noticed you're not. You know you still can't escape your bloodline as an ogre, and that is that Kaido believes that Yamato's destiny. You know, to rule over others, well, to rule over others with pure strength. Kind of like what Kaido has done, you know, throughout his life. And that's what he believes that Yamato is, will be amount to. And Yamato obviously uh, refutes this um, by establishing her own belief that, hey, you know what, I had friends. You know, and Kaido says, well, your friends, well, people who befriended you are all dead, like Ace and the Three Samurais. A Yamato like, no, this is, you know, not true, that the sem that I can't make friends with, with everybody, well, I can't make friends with the samurai, and that, you know, I pretty much determine my, uh, my own destiny, you know, who I want to be, despite my, you know, lineage. Um, and, I mean, that's, that's not what Yamato said, but that's basically just the whole idea of Yamato's opposing view that her father has. And then we get to another hilarious scene that uh, Mumbo is now able to fly in his dragon form, with the exception of not, not, uh, not knowing where to go or how to, you know, operate his body, his dragon body, to go where he wants it to go. He closes his eyes and he dashes through um, the many floors and within Onigashima, and many of the prominent characters who are in the world uh, see Luffy and Monosuke, and of them being bewildered and shocked. Like those like Big Mom, Hogoromo, Kid, Law, Zoro, Sanji, uh, and etc. And then we they finally get to the very top of Onigashima. And Yamato is telling her father Kaido, you know, I'm not done, and she pulls out like a technique that's pretty much clothed in arm and, uh, advanced arm and hockey. I mean advanced conquest hockey. And it was called Divine Swiftness White Serpent. And then Luffy comes in just had to use his attack and make contact with Kaido, Kaido with, at with the exact same time. And then he goes to Gear Four Stigman and then he uses his jet cavalry. And you know, that was an awesome shot. A you know, panel shot indeed. Uh two of the strongest fighters, I believe, in Wano to be able to deal with the extra Kaido. Alright, so that is the end of the chapter. My thoughts overall, I really um I can enjoy the chapter like any other monkey chapters before it. Um, I like the whole dialogue of, you know, Yamato and Kaido's fight. You know, how their opposing viewpoints are colliding. You know, with Yamato, you know, believing that she still has friends. And that she can become someone that she wants to be. While Kaido is still like, no, no, you can't become like Odin. You can't be like the Samurai. There's no way the Samurai can can befriend you, you know, you're always meant to be an ogre who possesses, you know, uh, immense physical strength, and you're meant to be just that. Um, I also like some hilarious moments of, you know, Monosuke obviously trying to learn to fly for the first time, because obviously this is his first time in the form, and actually really consciously trying to fly in that form. So it makes sense that Monosuke doesn't know how to do it at this point in time, and, uh, and him just flying over the many floors of Italy Gashima was also pretty funny. You know, just a reminder of how poor his control of the Delver is at the at the current moment. Um, again, he just he just got to this new form, so he's trying to he's not used to adjusting or he's not accustomed to uh, moving in his new uh, adult dragon form. 
And then we, and then of course at the end, what the slime thing is, uh, strong techniques of Luffy and his Gear Four Stick Man, Jack Gavelin, and Yamato's uh, Swift was it Divine Swiftness like Serpent, which was pretty cool. That was actually my favorite part in the chapter overall. Uh, I like, I really like that indeed. And that's pretty much it, fellow YouTubers. That is my thoughts uh, in my review of One Piece Mario Chapter 1025. Hope y'all enjoy. Please like the video. Uh, uh, comment, my, comment your thoughts down below. And subscribe to my channel to imagine for my Mario Chapter reviews and many, and many sessions and many more. If I say that again, subscribe to, like my video, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to my channel to imagine for more Mario Chapter reviews and sessions and many more. With all that being said, fellow YouTubers, y'all all have a wonderful day.